photos, how to be more and more conscious. The moment one thinks of being more conscious, first thing he asks how to live life that there is no mistake. If you want to live your life that there is no mistake, there is no shortcomings, then you will not be able to live. Because only dead bodies, dead people will not commit mistakes. If you want to avoid mistakes, then immediately go and settle yourself into your grave. Most of the people are afraid of committing mistakes. They, are, they want to find out how not to commit mistakes while living. There is nothing wrong in mis committing mistakes or faults. But most important thing is this, once you have committed a mistake, that should not be repeated. Man learns only from mistakes. Mistakes are like shortcomings, falters, stumbles. Along the path, you stumble, you get up, and you continue your journey again. One sh should not be afraid of committing mistakes. Mistakes give a lesson to you. This is the mistakes are a challenge to you. You can go on committing new mistakes every day, but repeating the same mistake over and over again is not going to teach you anything. This is the to commit the same mistake over and over again, it is dull-witted. Once you have committed a mistake, you will know what you should not do it. Without wavering, the man, you will not be able to get the spine. There will be no life force. There will be no soul. I have heard an Egyptian old story. There was a farmer. She was very disturbed and worried about the wavering conditions, weather conditions, unpredictable weather conditions. So he asked That time, it was easy for man to communicate with God. And he said, this is too much now. You don't know how to do the farming. And give me a chance for one year to guide you how the farming is done. Now everything is going upside down, topsy-turvy. When there is need for water, water does not fall. The plants dry, and when water is not needed, that time rain falls, and the plants that have already reached, grown a certain amount, they are destroyed in flood. And also there is attack of moths and different pests. Sometimes there is fog and so many things. So at this, at the request of the farmer, God said, you control and guide everything for one year. As you want the same thing, the same way things will happen, the amount of rainfall, the sunlight, the breeze, everything. The farmer told the entire planning to God, he put the experience of his entire life into that. He has seen the storms, he has seen the hail storms, he has seen the, um, the strong winds, he has seen so many things. 
the dry weather, the wet weather. So he made a, a, a proper planning and it was his joy was did not had any limit when he saw the plants the wheat and others started growing up growing taller and taller so then he thought now god will know how the farming is done the the flowers the plants were growing beautifully they were green they were tall when there was a need for water and to whatever extent water was needed whatever he wanted that amount of rainfall happened when there was a need for sunlight the sun was there the pests and attack of the different um, the pests that attacked the crop was not there there was no fog there is no hailstorm his joy knew no limits the time came for reaping the crop when he went to reap the crop it happened all hopes his hopes vanished the plants were green they were taller but the pots were empty there were no wheat grains and other items that are other produce that is supposed to be in the pot he asked god why did this happen what kind of a joke has happened with him such a tall and full crop the pots were looking full there was everything properly organized everything the crops got at the right time but why did green did not grow in the pots why the pots were empty a loud laughter came from heavens he said you are innocent and you think you are wise in order for the crop to grow the wheat grains to grow in the pot it needs the diverse circumstances it need challenges it needs inconveniences your pots remain empty because there was no storms there was no hail storm there was no wind storm and there was no excess rain the fire did not spread out of sun you have asked for everything according to your needs the soul is born only when there is a challenge when difficult situations come in life so do not be afraid of committing mistakes or problems when they come in life but one thing is certain that the one mistake you have committed once that should not be re repeated remember each mistake teaches you a lesson and it and every fear takes you back in retrospect but you have been taught for centuries over the period of time that one should not commit mistake and because of this we are a living dead you have been told not to commit mistakes you have been taught do not deviate from the path follow the traditions as it is people are living their life guided by rules and regulations rituals rituals are nothing else 
but following a particular way. The prayer has to be done in a particular way. There is a prescribed prayer. It is said about a Russian story. They were the Archbishop of the Russia. He heard there were three saints and they were getting very popular. So he went to visit them. So as soon as the Archbishop came, they lived in an island, the Three Fools. There is a movie on that also made Three Fools. So they, he came and he taught the regular prayer. But one of them, they asked, the Archbishop asked, what is your prayer? So three of them hesitated. One of them told the other, you say the prayer. The next one said, you say. So the prayer was said, you are three, we are three. Have mercy on us. He said, what kind of prayer is this? You are three, we are three, have mercy on us. So he taught him the prayer. While the prayer was being said, they after that satisfied that these are fools and there is no danger to his status and so Archbishop came back so he has to cross over the river as his boat was going he saw the three were running over the water and said stop stop say the prayer once again we have forgotten so then Archbishop said forget my prayer your prayer is accepted not my prayer prayer is an expression of feelings from deep within it does not require the words just a feeling just a gesture is more than enough for your prayer but when you are following a particular kind of a prayer a prescribed prayer whether it is in hinduism or christianity or islam it is not going to help you in any way and you want to know how to be more alive chaitanya or conscious state cannot be created it comes into you it requires challenge you are not dead you are alive do not be do not escape from mistakes do not try to walk carefully do not always try to walk on the highways sometimes go through the dense forest where there is every possibility of getting lost the try to live in difficult situations and in certain situations from where it is very difficult to maintain the consciousness and also there is no possibility to return go and spread there if you are burnt a little bit the soul will be born in you if you are deviated a little bit then a courage will, will spur deep within you. Do not be afraid of committing mistakes. This is the only way. When consciousness, consciousness grows only when there is a challenge in life. And when there is a challenge, there are opposite circumstances. Then the real test of your courage, real test of your awareness, of your consciousness comes. It grows only in adverse circumstances. Therefore, never be afraid of committing mistakes, but do not commit the same mistake over and over again. Life grows in adverse circumstances. Enough for now.